Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today's another reaction video. Today's another bite video. This one is from a rattlesnake again. But this one may generate hate towards this person. Let's, let's not hate. All right? He put himself in that situation. He's all right with it. There is one thing that, you know, I'm that I will say about it and we'll also talk after the video about about a myth about a common belief but yeah if you want to watch the original it'll be linked in the description if you don't want to hear me pause and talk go watch that subscribe send me videos if you have some for me to react to but let's get to it alright Western diamond back. Hey! <laughs> and I got bit. There's a Western diamond back bite. So, the one thing I will say, he's trying to pin it, pin it, grab it behind the head. I, I even dislike watching venom extractors pin. It's just a harsh, harsh process. Very stressful on the snake. Um, but yeah. Let's go back. The bite happens very quick. And let's watch it again. <laughs> hey. He's coming at you. Just a reminder. Defending itself. The snake is defending itself. There's potential predator right above it. Looking down on it like it's actual predators. Trying to pin it down. This snake is defending itself. It's not being aggressive. Look at those chunks. Yeah. Human flesh. He just got some. There's a, there's a bite right there. You see how that one does. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So again, not here to hate on the person. If he wants to get bit, it's fine. But yeah, the pinning, I just, I don't like. But again, I don't like it even when the professionals do it. It's just harsh. That's my opinion. With the venom extraction, it's got to be done. Still harsh and stressful on the snake. That's why I don't like it. I should add that I've had to pin snakes down. Last resort, force feeding. Hate doing it. If I ever get bit, that's one of the ways that it will happen. But it's, again, last resort. Snake not eating. It's declining. Having to pin it down. Force feed it. So I have pinned, and yeah, hate it. Hate putting a snake through that stress. But I want to be clear, I have done it. And I even pinned my saw scale viper once to get venom out for the venom versus blood video. Yeah. Let's talk about something, though. All right, so the thing I want to talk about, that's a baby snake, baby western diamondback rattlesnake. The common myth is that babies are more dangerous because they can't control how much venom they inject. So they inject it all. We're going to discuss a few things. First off, that is a myth because they can control how much venom they inject, even as babies. But if that weren't the case, let's take into consideration the size of the venom glands. Tiny venom glands compared to an adult, which has bigger venom glands, so let's just say they released all of their venom as a baby. An adult releasing just a little bit could still be much more than the baby releasing all of the venom. So it's a myth all around. I, I personally would much rather get bit by a baby snake compared to an adult. That being said, 
there are snake species out there that their venom composition is different as babies compared to an adult. So some snakes like the brown snake in Australia, baby brown snakes too small to eat rodents or mammals. So they have venom that's specific for capturing amphibian prey, much smaller amphibians. The venom targets that. The anti-venom for brown snakes does not work for baby brown snake bites because of this. And as they age and they're able to take that uh, mammal prey, the venom composition changes. So there is some variation in venom due to age-related venom changes. So that is, that's something that comes into play for some snakes. I forgot to mention as well, venom composition can change too based on locality. So the same species of snake, let's say one's found here, one's found here, same species, different environment. The venom composition can be different too. Southern Pacific rattlesnake, for instance, the ones found on the desert floor, hemotoxic venom targets of blood. The ones two hours, two hour drive up a little bit in the rocky areas, neurotoxic venom, complete different effect. And the reason for this, the ones on the desert floor can bite their prey, release, track it down once it dies. The ones in the rocky area, they can't they can't, uh, they can't afford to lose the prey into the rocks, so they need fast-acting venom, bite, and kill the prey quickly. And even those in those rocky areas may still have venom that affects the blood, but in a complete different way than those compared to the ones out on the desert floor. That is a factor too, just something to throw out there. I will talk more about that on my Venom series. I'm working on part two right now, which is going over the evolution of Venom, different types of Venom, and venomous snake fangs, different types of fangs. And I, the first episode of the series was going over what is Venom, what is poison, differences between them, um, and then venomous animals, poisonous animals, so examples of different types of animals. But yeah, check that out if you're interested. I'll be back soon. Love y'all. Subscribe if you're new. Send me video suggestions or, yeah, comment video suggestions. And send me videos you'd like me to react and discuss. Love y'all.